Well, hello. My name is Jim, and we're going to be going over AutoCAD 2008. This is the first tutorial uh, in hopefully a long series of tutorials going over AutoCAD 2008. Uh, bear with me as I get these uh, developed and uploaded. Uh, like I said, we're going over the AutoCAD 2008 product. If you're an AutoCAD 2, excuse me, if you're an AutoCAD LT user, uh, this tutorial should work pretty well for you as well. Um, until later on, uh, when we get into some customization things, then uh, that's probably where the AutoCAD LT product is going to drop off. But anyway, um, just to give you a little bit of background on me, my name is Jim, like I said before. Um, I've been an AutoCAD user for oh, about 15 years now. Uh, I actually worked for an Autodesk reseller for a number of years as an AutoCAD instructor, so like I said, I'm pretty familiar with the product, and uh, I hope to be put together a, ser a series of tutorials that I think you're going to get a lot out of. Now, when you first start up AutoCAD uh, out of the box, it's going to look something like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you change the screen slightly just to make it a little bit easier um, as a new AutoCAD user to access some of the commands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you change um, the workspace to an AutoCAD Classic workspace. And you can access this option here uh, by going to this Workspaces toolbar and clicking on it, you should be able to click on AutoCAD Classic, or if you can't find that toolbar, here's another way you can do it. If you go to uh, your Tools pull-down menu, you can go to Workspaces, right there at the top, slide over and click on AutoCAD Classic. And when I do this, this uh, dashboard that you see over here on the right-hand side is going to go away, and it's going to add a couple of toolbars to our, uh, to our screen here. And we click on that. Give it just a second, and there we go. Uh, the dashboard is gone, and we've got some modified toolbars over here and some drawing toolbars over there. Now, AutoCAD, in general, uh, it's going to be very similar to other Windows-based products that you've used. Um, it's going to have pull-down menus up here at the top. It's going to have um, it's going to have buttons similar to the ones uh, like any other Windows product. Um, Word or Excel or any of those products. Um, auto, obviously it's going to have your drafting or your drawing window here. I'm going to turn this toolbar off. It's going to have your drafting or workspace here. This is where you're going to be doing all of your drawing. Uh, down at the bottom there's a command line. Now this is very unique to AutoCAD and something you're going to become very familiar with is your command line. Uh, that's this white space down here and you'll see the word command. And we'll talk more about that later. Um, back up here to your pull-down menus. You'll notice every time I click, uh, you're going to get a little circle that pops up there. Um, that's when I'm using my index finger mouse button. You're going to see that. And if I use my middle finger mouse button, and I say that because I don't want to confuse right and left-handed mouse users, uh, you should get a blue circle. Uh, and you should also hear a click as well. So that'll help you understand exactly what buttons I'm clicking when I'm clicking. Anyway, back to the pull-down menus. Your file pull-down, very similar to other Windows products. You've got um, you know, open drawings, save drawings, uh, import, uh, things like that. Edit, these are basic Windows editing commands, cut, copy, paste. Um, now AutoCAD has its own way to um, copy objects, and we'll get into that a little bit later. The view pull-down, Obviously, there's some view functions here, zooming in, zooming out. Uh, inserting drawings is going to be under the insert. Um, pull down menu, you're going to have, uh, this is where you're going to find XREFs and blocks and things like that that you can insert into your drawing. Format, there's some options under here. We're going to get into these toolbars a little bit, uh, these pull down menus a little bit more as we go. Tools, this gets into your workspaces, um, all different tools. This is where you get into some customization. Uh, loading applications and list routines to automate some of the processes that you do. These are your basic draw commands under the draw pull down menu, line arc, circle, things like that. Dimension, when you're doing dimensions, here's some dimensioning options. Modify, now these are some of the AutoCAD modifying commands such as copying objects and mirroring and breaking and uh, trimming, things like that, and of course we'll get into those. And then window, this is uh, how, this is similar to other Windows-based programs where you can open up more than one 
drawing at a time and you can cascade those or tile those however you want so that you can see multiple drawings at a time. Of course the help pull down as a new user you're probably going to become familiar with that. Hopefully not so much after the tutorials but uh, the help feature is available in AutoCAD 2008 and it's actually pretty good and they've got some tutorials there as well. The express pull down this is some uh, additional AutoCAD tools that AutoCAD shipped with AutoCAD 2008 or excuse me that Autodesk shipped with AutoCAD 2008. Um, and I definitely encourage you to uh, get in there and play with some of those express tools as well. Your toolbars here, you're going to have basic, you know, standard toolbar up here at the top. Um, and of course, it's going to have your file open and save and match properties and a couple of zoom commands and such there. On the right hand side of your screen, uh, you'll have the erase. This is your modify toolbar. Erase, uh, copy, mirror, some of the modifying commands and then on the left hand side of your screen you'll have some of your drawing commands. Again down at the bottom this is your command line uh, like I said we'll become very familiar with. Uh, at the very bottom on the left hand side um, you'll see your uh, on your status bar in the bottom left hand corner of your status bar at the very bottom you'll see your coordinates and what that is is that's the coordinates of where the crosshairs are in the Cartesian coordinate workspace which we'll touch on a little bit later. Um, there's some options here for turning on some of the AutoCAD options as you're drawing. You can click on these as you're working. Uh, O-snaps, um, ortho, and things like that. We'll get into some of these other options as well. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and close out this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to get into working with AutoCAD commands. Okay, we'll get into some basic drawing commands and, and how the AutoCAD product works as far as entering commands and things like that. So until next time, um, I look forward to uh, talking to you again. Um, have a great day. Thanks so much.